guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I have a kidding up to do. Um, this is the Lion Cup from Diamond Shop. I will put the link down below to this because now um, Rowana and Reggie have actually, um, as the artist of this work, they're actually giving me a percentage of the sales um, for the for any of the three customs that I had made up. We have, a, I have had an interest in one person getting this, which is how it happened. I asked if this could be made available um, for this one person to order and they said yes. And then I think a couple of days later, they turned around and said, well, what we're gonna do, anybody orders these, um, you'll get, well, they did give me a percent, did tell me how much, but I'll get a percentage of each time anybody orders one of these. So guys, if you like any of the three, the link is down below. And I will want to do want to say to thank you to Diamond Shop because um, this is fantastic. One of the things I want to do, and what I mean, I'm a big one for customs and um, I prefer <clears throat> to work with my own pictures that I've, I've done over the, the years of my holidays and to actually get the opportunity to share these images and for other people to actually enjoy them um, it's fantastic so Rowan and Reggie thank you very much really do appreciate it so I'm going to now kit this up I have shortened the ability to kit up or the video um, because what I did do is my craft mates lockable I photocopied uh, the legend and uh, put it on the can't remember what did the Zyron sticker maker and made the labels. I haven't stuck the labels on yet, uh, but I what I did also do is I put the lion cub on there. So for those that have been watching my channel, you'll see there's a picture where a lion cub and the lioness mother is up that I'm doing as a completely blank custom. Um, this is. Uh, that well not that same picture but they this is where this picture comes from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to label everything up and then once everything's labeled up I'll come back to you probably had a good chat um, and put some drills in containers so um, yeah enjoy the video So here we go. Whoops. Yeah, don't need to see my nose, do you? Hang on, there it is. <laughs> um, so now to kit this, now to just take this out, and I will, I thought I'd have a bit of a chat while I'm doing this. Uh, one, one, five, nine. I have moved this around. These are in order, obviously, in the bag. Um, hang on a sec. Just had to get myself with my tray and that set up. So it's a bit of a no, I had to go get my tray so that I was set up to uh, pour my drills in. The um, this little bit of a chat is about 
uh, what's been going on and my apologies. Yet again, I have a uh, dishwasher going off in the background. Uh, but we all know that uh, <laughs> we still need to get our housework done when, we're, uh, when we've got our craft going on. But what has happened in the last well, I suppose a month and a half, I think, is my first, my last time I really did any real recordings. I uh, celebrated Christmas with my kids, which I think I've done a little bit of a chat over as part of the dp a uh, The uh, sparkle -a that one was, which was fantastic. Then, oh, let's get this. I've done a couple of other videos, some unbox, uh, what it maybe one unboxing. I got the, I've done the Sophie and Toffee subscription box. I unboxed that, and I've got the Universal Yums box today. Well, I've got that a couple of days ago, and I'll be recording that today. So I'm getting back into the swing of things, very, very slowly. Um, so. As a lot of people suffer is with uh, mental illness, and I know I've talked about it before, so I won't go any further. But I will say, you know, I started to feel better, get back into things, start being my normal self, and then I had a setback again. So hence why I haven't really come back fully at that at that point, which is when I plan to. A lot of three one sevens, but I wasn't going to push it. I wasn't going to come back before I was fully ready. So I was at this stage. I am. I believe I'm back to being ready, ready to come back, and hopefully I um, haven't disappointed you guys too much by disappearing into my own little world. Um, but we need to do that sometimes. Um, oh no, I did do some other videos where I did some reviews of some diamond paintings I completed. Um, because I haven't been doing videos, I was actually um, doing a lot of diamond painting. I wasn't doing working with any resin, just working with the diamond painting, which was really, really, really good to do. So that's why I got that <laughs> so much done. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Keep those in order. Stay in order. Excuse me. Sorry. So yeah, the um, back to doing stuff. I have, as I mentioned, I've got the Universal Yums box to unbox. Um, that's. My second last one, so I've got one more to go, one more subscription box for the Universal Yums. Um, I won't be renewing it. As much as it was fun, um, it wasn't really much of a craft, and I do craft here. Um, that was just more of a subscription box, box tryout, and it was fun to do, but I'm not going to continue on with it. But uh, it's still, um, yeah. So yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy my last two unboxings of that. So I've got this one, which is, well, January, and then I've got the February box. So, but the January box arrived like the 28th of January, somewhere around there. So it was really late arriving, a um, bit of a disappointment, but these things can't be helped. So I saw, like I had one month where mine arrived on the 15th um, which is before a lot of people in the US because I I'm, I'm actually got that video uploaded before anybody in the US had theirs uploaded and considering they shipped from the US um, I was really surprised okay four one five there But um, what's happened is like this box that I've gotten is late, was so late 
um, it's unbelievably late. And someone that I did that did actually get the box ordered through me, uh, or using my link, um, his second order didn't arrive and he had a bit of a dispute with them and um, although he did eventually get the box, he got the box, he got November box the day after he got the December box. So, um, and he'd sent lots and lots of emails from the, to them about it and they were just saying it's been delivered, we've got notification it's been delivered, but um, yeah, it was delivered somewhere in the US, not somewhere in Australia even, so that was... So in that case, like for him, he didn't get one box until months, you know, a month later. Um, my box is arriving, you know, at the end, very end of the month. There's no um, notification that it's going to be late. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Um, but then I will say, although I was getting lots of comments on the, on the box, um, on the videos, I wasn't getting managed to the way of you, so um, it's not something that I'll keep going with because I think you just, those of you guys that watch those ones, that watch the Universal Yums are more. Um, I mean, it's, I will say it's fantastic, but it's basically all the guys, all the people that watch every single video I produce. So, um, and I know my facial expressions are kind of priceless. <laughs> Especially when I have to try dark, dark chocolate. Um, oh yeah. Um, what else has happened? Oh, so like I get there and talk about um, Nathan. He um, got the lovely beasting at one point, and um, it's in one of my whipping chats or something about the beasting that he got. Um, a couple of weeks after that bee sting, I copped a bee sting. I actually stepped on a bee. And I'm actually <laughs> allergic to bees. Um, some people say it was karma that I got stung by a bee because I was chucking about him being um, stung by a bee and where he got stung. Um, but I am actually allergic. So I have, I'm not anaphylactic allergic I am localized allergic which means that the area that I get stung swells up yeah you know, I've bolted into the house well not quite screaming or squealing but I got stung you know come into the house and I've stepped up to my desk I popped to my desk and then sat down, put my foot up, and Nathan's come to find out why I'm carrying on like a pork chop. And it's a bee sting. So he gets the sting out, and I said, this is gonna swell up. And he's like, oh, no, you're not, you know, you know, you know, you only say you're allergic, because he'd never seen it before. He'd never seen me stung by a bee before. And I turned around and I said to him, not like when you got stung, you didn't swell up, you're not allergic. <laughs> I said, I'm allergic, this is going to swell up. Oh no, you, and he tells it, oh no, it's just, it's just hurting because you've been stung, it's just standard, you know, hurt. And I've got, I've turned around and said, no, it's not. Um, you know, he's about half an hour later, he's, <laughs> I'm still sitting there with my foot up to try and reduce the swelling. Um, and he actually, okay, did I just do that? 762. Oh no, that's just me. <laughs> Reading the number on seven seven nine seven seven nine seven nine four. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's a little bit of time's gone by, and he's looked at it and he's like, oh yeah, you know, it's just red. 
and you could see this red was actually creeping up my foot because it was on the bottom of my foot I got stung. So you see this red creeping up my foot. Um, Daughter-in-law has gone and she, she organised, she got some ice for me and um, gave me an ice pack um, and yeah, it was interesting. My foot continued to swell and I think when we went to bed at 10.30 at night, Nathan's looked at my foot and looked at the fact that the only way I'm walking around is hob I'm just hobbling around. And he's looked at my foot when we've gone to bed and he goes, I don't think you should go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I turned around and I said, no, so I just, I just won't be able to wear a shoe on that foot. I'm still going to work. This is not going to stop me from going to work. I don't have enough sick days to be able to afford to not go to work. So, woken up in the morning with my foot even bigger than I went when I went to bed. Um, if I will say with bee stings, if you are localised swelling, it can take up to 48 hours before the swelling goes starts to go down or I should say before it stops spreading. So for about 48 hours, my foot kept swelling up. So, you know, I've gone to work with, I was able to get my foot in a shoe to go to work, um, although I did, I took socks so I could put a sock over my foot because I knew that I couldn't keep a foot in a shoe all day. So I've taken the sock, socks in and, you know, just hobbled around work. Basically, I was lucky for the area that I was on. I, I don't, didn't have to walk very far. The only time I walked any distance was actually while I was on the break. Um, yeah. End of the day, time to go home, time to put my shoe on. Yeah. I couldn't even get my toes in, the, in my shoe. <laughs> uh, so, you know, my foot was, that, that next day at work, my foot was still swelling up. Um, I've come home. I got home. I, yes, I drove. Um, my car was an automatic, so it wasn't like I was having to use my my foot that much, although it was my right foot, so my, drive, my accelerator and brake foot. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten home and then Nathan's seen me hobble in the door and he goes, oh, it's not that bad. And I turned around and said, just have a look. He took one look at it and went, get in the car, we're off to the chemist to get something for that. <laughs> Um, he, three, eight, nine, five. He, um, it was at that point he realised how allergic I, I actually was because he'd seen it in the morning uh, and it was bigger than when he saw it when I went to work. So, some people say it's karma. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of packaging in there. Hang on a sec. I just went and emptied the box because it wasn't staying shut. Um, yeah, some say karma because I got stung. I got stung by B because I took the mickey out of him. Mind, everybody took the mickey out of him about the bee sting. Um, to the point, oh, that was something. When I got, after I got stung by the bee, um, dinner that night, talking to some of my son and daughter-in-law, they... We're having dinner and we're talking about these things and then Nathan turns around and says, did your mum tell you about my bee sting? And I've looked at him and gone, no. So over the dinner table, he tells a story about his bee sting and where he got stung. <laughs> so great dinner conversation, you know, telling my my son basically that he's been stung on a very personal part um and yeah it was a 
a bit of a laugh over dinner, but it's not a normal dinner. It well, it's not correct in a conversation, but <laughs> he's still telling people about it. So I don't know whether it's karma or not that I got stuck. So yeah, that's um, in the DP a thon. I did mention that I got stung by a bee, but um, I didn't really go into the details of it, so I thought I'd share those details now. <laughs> and the lack of sympathy I got for the last, first first half a day that I got stung, and then the uh, sympathy I got after that was quite impressive. Um, Bags getting empty. <sighs> so yeah, we had the I, I caught that beast thing. So that's a little bit of fun. Um, uh, Nathan is so most of the times I some of the times when I do recording, Nathan is actually what I call in his man cave, which is the front lounge room, and um, you know we I will hear the sometimes the wrong or some interesting sounds coming out of there um, and yeah he normally it's by him being in his man cave I'm able to do recording while, while he's at home on some occasions um, like the time that stuff I can do when he's home without any issue all of that but he found that so we've got a big TV and it was in a very small room don't tell me I just did 3053 3052 I've just put two colors in one far out okay that's what happens I get distracted I'm going to have to look at those and see whether I've got any spare from Diamond. Oh, I should have. We'll soon find out. Mind the colours are so close. That was horrible. Okay. That'll teach me. Um, but yeah, so TV's too big. For that front room like it's, it's been in there for two years and so he's decided to put it out in the living room so that you know he can watch it when he's out here and you know he can stay in the man cave with our smaller tv um i went to work one day on the week on a weekend and came home to discover he'd moved the surround sound speaker system into the living room and decided that oops, I want to keep this out. And then decided that he was going to start watching TV out here because the big TV is a smart TV, um, connects to the internet, and he put data cables through the house um, not long ago. So we were to plugged directly into the network via data cables. And he discovered that he can watch Netflix on the TV instead of having to only watch TV channels. So he's basically moved into the living room. And when I sit at doing my craft, I am down to being able to only listen to stuff with a headset on. <laughs> which is frustrating as hell. But, <sighs> so anything that I play, I can't play on speakers unless he's not at home. And my, when I'm editing videos, it's pretty hard to edit videos on it with a headset, although you can do it. I prefer not to, I'd rather be able to hear it properly. gonna have to work around it I made a comment last night that maybe I should move my office into the front room and then I'll get real peace and quiet when I'm recording because he won't even walk into the room like he does when I'm in here in the living room um, I need to keep that out gosh 
gosh, that's frustrating. Three eight six zero. Um. So yeah, that's what else has happened. Um, taken on some extra shifts, which um, I'm not doing any more extra shifts now. I I think I'm going to get myself taken off the list so I don't even get asked. Um, there. What are you guys doing? What have you guys done for January? What do you think? What have you done? Oh. So January is over. It's now February. Five, three, eight, six, one. I have to kick myself on that one that I mixed up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm nearly done here. So just, just a little reminder, you know, this. you can order these images from Diamond Shop as a diamond painting. They are round and they are these are 62 by 50 um, and I, the cheetah came out beautifully so I have no doubt that uh, this the line cup will be any different the same as the leopard so oh, okay now to go back Oops. I will be back very 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 shortly come back with bad news I don't have anywhere well, I have one diamond painting that I haven't starved which has the 3052 but I don't have one that has the 3053 which means I need to sort through these. Uh, let's see if I can. There we go. Look at the difference in color. So there is a difference. So I'm going to have to sort through these and uh, bear with me because this thing is not focusing. Okay, so I now will have to go through and sort these so that then I have the uh, colours correct. The two colours are green, grey, medium and green, green, grey. So, which is those two greens there. So, I've got the light on and the dark. So guys, not fully kitted up, I will have to fix this up. I'm not going to record the process of fixing this up, but it goes to show you accidents happen regardless of who you are or how long you've been diamond painting. Uh, what I will say is leave a comment below if you've done this um, to at the very start of um, kidding up. But I will say this is going to be beautiful to work on. Uh, Z and four. At least they're not that many colours. So, uh, guys, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you wish. Hit the subscribe button, and of course, hit that bell to be notified of when I do my next upload. Um, I do have a few more things to do. Obviously, the universal yums, but um, some whip and chats, and I've got to continue recording uh, for my Egypt trip. And yet again, I am waffling on. Um, to say goodbye yet again guys leave me any comments let me know if you've stuffed up or kidding up what was the stuff up and uh, thank you and uh, hit the subscribe and hit the bell to be notified and bye for now while I clean up these drills